lovelies welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing well all right i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day so lovelies today is my little girl wash day look at her hair i took down a protective style of two months and this is what i got after i took down the the hairstyle because my little girl she don't like when i touch her hair often so i just make a hair a style on her that she can carry for the longer time as possible so after i took down the protective style today is a complete wash day so i want to share with you all how i treat her hair a dirty old rugged <laughs> hair as you can see look at all those dirt all those dust all those build up so right now i'm just praying my fenugreek and my honey water to damp the air a little bit okay when your baby hair is like this please don't walk on the air directly without applying kind of water or anything to damp the air and don't detangle immediately when the air is dry okay try apply any water of your choice damp it into the air then massage it into the air as you can see me doing right now this way you will make the air to break less and also to shed less so as you can see i'm still massaging the water into it then i will go in with this my brush this brush helped me a lot whenever i want to detangle a end i will use this brush to just brush all the dirt together brush everywhere as you can see me doing this process allows me to remove those built up those dead without ripping off her hair and the brush is extremely soft okay and also delicate then after i use the brush i will go in with my hands to pat her hair into five sections i always love to remove the crown of her uh, of her hair whenever i'm detangling her hair because she has a very delicate crown so i always love to work in that section that area like on its own when your baby has a delicate crown please try and section that place away before you walk on the section because change the air into two parts you know it puts too much tension on the air so as you can see i've parted her hair into the five session as you can see right now and look at how her hair is looking so over here i will go in to people her hair with my aloe vera and my onions and strip hair grow butter i will put the link down below this butter is amazing on the air guys it's super duper amazing it's softening the air immediately and also remove all those built up all those dead like they went away like fastly and it helped to really detangle her hair without too much stress right now i'm just putting the butter working in section doing some finger detangling all right guys me i always love to use my fingers to detangle her hair because i don't want to rip her hair i already detangle her hair only when i'm styling and her hair okay so if you have a baby don't put too much truth on their hair constantly try use your fingers your hands to detangle their hair as you can see i'm applying the butter as if i'm applying a relaxer they will just massage the butter into every part of her hair then after i apply the butter i'll make sure the butter saturates really, really well while i'm why i'm detangling her hair as you can see me doing so look at how her hair is feeling right now the, the build up are all gone and her hair look super duper moisturized and also soft as you can see So after I massage the air, I will now break that section out of the way. Then I will walk in the other section behind the camera. So after I break that section, I will shook it into the air. Then I will now jump into the other section of the air behind the camera. So as you can see, I finished preparing and detangling her air with my finger. The build up is no more there. As you can see, they are all via disappear <laughs> as you can see so right now i will eat up our air for up to 40 minutes okay i'll just wrap our air up like this while i go and do other things for 40 minutes before i'll come back and show you guys how i will shampoo our hair So 
So after 40 minutes, I'm using lukewarm water to raise the butter out of her hair as you guys see me doing, removing every shed hair from her hair. Like guys, this butter make her hair really, really soft and moisturized already as you can see from the video. And even without applying shampoo, those build up are no more there. So right now, as you can see, look at how her hair is feeling after I raise the butter out of her hair. Her hair feels so so soft and moisturized and the air feel kind of clean but no it's not clean yet so right now i will go in with my diy shampoo i'll put the link down below to shampoo her hair i shampooed her hair twice because this shampoo is not stripping it's super duper moisturizing okay because i made the shampoo myself so i will just shampoo the hair as you can see me doing i shampooed her hair twice because her hair was extremely dirty so lovelies as you can see from the video look at how bouncy how soft her hair feels look at her coils her joints popping the right now i'm going to raise the shampoo out of her hair like i said i shampooed her hair twice and i'm using lukewarm water to raise the shampoo out of her hair because we are in winter and you don't want to give your baby cold i don't want her to catch cold so i have to use lukewarm water to hot water to rinse her hair and look at how her hair feels then after i allow her hair to a dry it's time to do some deep mask as you can see her scalp is extremely clean and her hair is super duper clean so i will apply my diy protein treatment on her head before you braid your baby's hair make sure you do some your, your some protein treatment and also after you took down this time you want to do a protein treatment the way you treat your hair the same way you have to treat your baby's hair as well okay whenever i took down whenever i want to do my hair in a protective style i first of all apply a protein treatment and when i take down or took down the the the, the style out i see incorporate protein treatment the same method i'm using on my little guest hair whenever i took down our old protective style so i will just work in this section from tip to the root and massage the mask inside your baby's cap as well then after i apply that more i will wrap up her head then i will allow it to sit for another 40 minutes the longer you allow the mask to sit the better then after i raise the mask i use my regular condition to condition her hair so right now after i raise out her condition look at how her hair is feeling her hair feels so soft I have feel so moisturized as you can see on the video there's no more dirt so i will go in again with my diy fenugreek and only water to just dab her hair spray 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 as a living treatment on her hair as you can see me doing then i will massage the water into her scalp into her hair into every portion of her hair as you can see me doing So right now, I will go in with some amount of my hair growth oil. I will apply a tangible amount, which I will to moisturize her hair and also her scalp. Then I will apply the hair to the tip of her hair. Then I will now go into her scalp to massage really, really well, guys. When I apply your oil, massage the oil into every part of her hair and also into her scalp. You want to take your time to massage, massage, massage the oil into every part, into every strand and also don't forget to massage your baby's scalp and right now i will go in with my mat of my diy air growth ginger butter to just seal in the moisture on her hair for a better moisturizing and also for healthy hair growth this butter is amazing guys i'll put the link down below as well it's so easy to make and also it's super duper effective it makes your hair feel super duper great so as you can see i'm just massaging the butter into her hair 
as well as you can see me doing then after i massage the butter it's time to style her hair i will use this particular tool this my rubber band and this uh, my accessory to just give her hair some little beautiful style so over here i've done half of her hair already i pack her hair into two sections that i work with every portion of her hair just a simple braid as you can see this time will last her for at least four days because her hair don't last that long whenever i want to carry her hair for long i make sure i do some amazing protective style that will last for long so i'll go in with my bigger tooth comb a big tooth comb to just detangle her hair this is how this is when i detangled her hair okay when I'm treating her hair, I always use my fingers to detangle her hair. I always detangle her hair with tools whenever I'm styling her hair. So as you can see, I'm just uh, combing the hair. Then I'll go in with this my rat tooth comb to make sure the hair is completely detangled. So comb the hair from the tip. And when combing the hair, please don't, don't rip your baby's hair, okay? Be gentle. My hand is fast because I'm fast forwarding this video, okay? Even though she ate when you are combing her hair. Then I'll go in with four rubber bars, you can see, three black and one colored one to just put it around my ends like this to just. Um, all the air from the from bottom this rubber don't last long on the air but it don't rip her hair that's why i love this rubber band okay i just put four in my ends like this they are just to to to, to, to cash her hair the word is not coming guys i beg to hold her hair as you can see just to hold the root of her hair now just twerk the rubber band around her root of her hair like this as you can see me doing it's so easy to make and so beautiful this hairstyle if you can fit her <laughs> she loved Esther a lot so after I was just uh, use the, all the extra hair I would just take it into two portions I would just uh, draw it together as you can see to make sure the rubber band really, really hold the root of her hair then I will now braid the hair as you can see me doing So after I braid her hair, I will go in with this accessory to just clip the tip of her hair. Guys, this uh, Esther is just temporary. It don't last maximum five days because my baby girl, she only loves to touch her hair a lot and the rubber band, they don't last that long. To so just uh, hold her, her tip to give her a kind of colorful vibe, yeah, color vibe until when I will know what style I will be fixing on her hair i'll just press that stuff on her hair like this it's just so simple then we are good to go this is how i style her hair after i do a complete wash day to protect her hair from any further disaster <laughs> so love this here is the final look of the wash day routine everything about my baby girl what i do to her hair before and after as you can see this esther is so cute her scalp is so clean her hair is so clean and she love her style a lot this is how you can take care of your babies and use it only diy stuff without breaking the bank yeah all right guys with this we come to the end of today's video if you like it please give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to support your girl and also share for me it's free of charge as you can see she's saying bye bye until we see you in the next one remain blessed i know what peace bye bye love you all <laughs>